Pray Until Saturation Happens is a weekly broadcast of testimonies, teachings, and prayer for the saturation of God's glory, leading to the transformation of every Colorado community. Welcome to PUSH, Pray Until Saturation Happens. My name is Father Phil Eberhardt. I'm your host today. This is a production of Colorado Praise and the Rocky Mountain Christian Television Network. We're so glad that you've joined us. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome Jordan Clark, who is the founder of Iron Sharp Community Foundation. Tell us a little bit about what Iron Sharp is and where that came from. I know it's, uh, it's in there. In this good place. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for the honor to be here. It's a pleasure to be on this program and to be joining all of you, and thank you for what you do for the community and the blessing that you all are Amen. in saturating thank our community you. and prayer and the Word of God. Um, again, my name is Jordan Clark. I'm the founder of the Iron Sharp Community Foundation, and Iron Sharp was a vision that was given to me from the Lord uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I've spent over the last 13 years in the nonprofit industry here in the Denver metro area, but first and foremost, just to level set for everyone that's watching, uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior and Master, <laughs> and He yeah. is my everything, and I am so grateful for what He's done on His finished work in the cross and in His resurrection to give me life and life more abundantly and Amen. cleansed me from uh, all of my iniquity. And so Iron Sharp is uh, a vision that he gave me a couple of years ago as I was in the midst of the nonprofit that I was stewarding at the time, but also as I was being discipled uh, in my local church community. I've spent the last 10 plus years uh, at the Encounter Church community, okay. Maryland Hickey Ministries, right. and so grateful for Pastors Reese, Pastor Sarah, <laughs> <Sorry>. Pastor Marilyn, <laughs> for their leadership and mentorship. And uh, the Lord gave me this vision to uh, steward something. I remember driving in my car uh, in a snowstorm, and all I heard was iron sharp. And I even had to look up the address because I knew it was a verse. And shortly enough after I got home, Proverbs 27, 27. 17, iron sharpens iron, uh, so does the countenance of a friend sharpen another. And Amen. I knew it was something that he was calling forth to uh, bring the love of Jesus to the community uh, in a way that's set apart, as we as mm -hmm. the church are called to be set apart for his glory, but to serve the community and wash the feet of our community in a way that does not look, taste, and smell like the world, but in a way that the, the body, the bride, um, can do together, hand wow, in hand, wow. alongside one another. That's cool. That is so good. The, um, your, your, your movement is towards churches coming together and, and, and into community. Iron sharpening iron happens mm -hmm. both at an individual level yeah. and at a church level, as a community mm -hmm. level. And that's, that's really what I'm hearing yeah. in terms of what you're, what you're sharing. You know? And so tell us a little bit more about the program um, and the outflow of what Iron Sharp Community is. Yeah, absolutely. So we actually started probably about as official organization about three years ago. Okay. And we started out adopting um, an elementary school in Aurora. Okay. And after the pandemic had really hit, we saw that these schools, especially the underserved schools that are high rates of poverty, high rates of homelessness, they um, were needing, they had corporate sponsors that dropped out uh, from providing them support every year. And so we started that encounter with about 300 backpacks to support them, <laughs> but also it. wanting to do something that, hey, this isn't just a one and done service project, but how can we as the church come together around this community and love them in a way that they know there is a community that loves them, that supports them, and wants to see them grow and thrive in their identity in mm -hmm. Christ. And we started out with 300 backpacks. And to kind of fast forward until last year, uh, we were able to partner with two school districts, Aurora and Cherry Creek, to serve about 3,000 homeless and high-need students wow. here in the metro area and partnering with some churches locally to go out and impact the, the secular community with the love of Jesus. So it's it's expanded from one school, one single yes. school, mm -hmm. to two school districts. Yes. 
<laughs> yep, 100%. I love it. That's what God is all about, He's is amazing. that kind of expansion and, yeah. the, you know, bringing, bringing people, the, the school kids, yeah. into um, a touch yes. from the kingdom of God. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So we are praying today yes. um, that uh, the prayer topic is giving God mm-hmm. our yes to the Great Commission. Mm-hmm. Now, I hope that everybody here knows what the Great Commission is. Mm-hmm. You know, the Great Commission is the la- final verses of, of Matthew mm-hmm. chapter 28, where yes. he says, all authority, mm-hmm. all authority has been given to me, and I'm calling you to go and teach mm-hmm. um, and baptize in my name all the world. All the nations, yes. you know. Um, how does that? Let's pray. Well, let's yeah. pray. I, yeah, yes. more questions that than I can. <laughs> Sanctify. Just it. Yeah. please pray for us as as we say yes to yes. this. Yeah. Well, Father in heaven, we come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. We thank you that today is the day that you have made, and we mm. rejoice and we are glad in it. Lord, we thank you, uh, Jesus, for your obedience because you were obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross, as your word says, Lord, that you lowered yourself um, to the level of a bond servant to uh, serve every one of us, to bring us back to restoration to the Father. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your finished work on the cross and the glorious resurrection that you demonstrated, that you defeated death, hell, and the grave for us, that we were the joy that was set before you. Lord, and we thank you for your great commission, Mm. Lord, that it's not a suggestion. It's not just an (laughs) encouragement. It is a commandment for every brother and sister in Christ Jesus for us to give you our yes to you. Lord, we thank you that we were created in your image, uh, that we weren't created to be conformed to the image of this world, but to be image bearers of you, Christ Jesus. And Lord, as you gave your yes to the Father, as you uh, obeyed him and laid your life down willingly, Selfish, selfishly, selflessly, Lord, we, uh, we give you our yes, Lord, and I thank you for the topic of today's message of giving you our yes to the Great Commission, Lord, that our lives are not our own. They were bought at a high price, and I pray that every brother and sister listening to this program knows the value of their life, that their life is worth the price that you paid, Christ Jesus, that you bore the scourging, you bore the pierced hands the pierced feet, the body that was marred beyond any man in history. You bore the crown of thorns so we would not have a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Lord, Mm -hmm. we thank you, Jesus, for the great commission that you've given us all authority to baptize uh, others in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit so that others would be able to live life and life more abundantly, that their identity would be rooted and anchored in you, Christ Jesus, and not the identity of the culture of this age, but they would know who they are and whose they are in you, Christ Jesus. Lord, and I pray that you would stir up a hunger in each and every one of our hearts to give you our yes and amen to what you are calling us to do, that we would know that our lives are not to be lived unto our own will, but to the will of the Father. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, just as you taught us how to pray Lord Jesus, in your word, that our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. Lord, and I pray that you would give us the daily bread of your presence, the daily bread of your word every single day, that you would nourish us and feed us, deliver us and heal us, Lord, with the power of your word, which is everlasting to everlasting, Lord, that we would be forgiven of our sins and that you would forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned against us, Lord. Deliver your people from any offenses, Lord, and let us walk uprightly as more than conquerors in the identity that you have called us forth, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would lead us not into any kind of temptation, but to deliver us from all evil, Lord. And we thank you that um, for those that are questioning maybe their will for their lives, God, I thank you that your word says in Colossians 3.17, that for whatever we do in word or in deed, that you would be glorified, Christ Jesus, that Yes. We would rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for that is your will for our lives, Father. 
in Christ Jesus, Lord. So we thank you, we praise you, and I pray that you would stir us up and give us a hunger and thirst for your righteousness, that we would give you our yes, that we would deny ourselves every single day to pick up our cross and to follow you, to glorify you in everything that we do. In your precious, matchless name, Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. It is um, one of the things that I believe in, in our in our life is that there are three actual mm-hmm. conversions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One is to Jesus himself yeah. as Lord. Uh, but we also need to be converted from ourselves to his body, to mm-hmm. the church. Mm-hmm. So there's a conversion to the church. Um, but mm-hmm. there's also a conversion beyond the church, mm-hmm. and that's the conversion of the John 3.16. Mm-hmm. God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son so that those who believe will not perish but have everlasting life. That's the message. That's the message. There's a conversion to Jesus. There's a conversion to his church, and God's church is plan A. There's no plan B. And there's a conversion to the world. So that we're sent, Mm -hmm. and it's this yes that we're talking about that needs to be said by us. Yes. Amen. Thank you for your work, for the vision, for following what God has has asked you to set your hand to. And uh, Father, we pray for Jordan and for Iron Sharp Community Foundation, and we ask you, Holy Spirit, to to rest upon this ministry, to rest upon the work that they're doing with the school districts, to rest upon all of the times that they're calling churches to to enter in and to go out, Lord Jesus, into your great commission. Uh, You, uh, it's your heart, Lord. It's your heart, Lord God, that um, you loved the world, yes, the whole world, and everyone who's listening today, you, you love them in such a way that you have sent your son, Jesus, and given his life, Thank you, Lord. and you have torn the temple curtain in two and given yes, us Lord. access, access to you, and so we come. Thank you, Lord. So we come and we say yes. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank you, Father, that you have made a way for us to be part of your plan. Thank you. In your kingdom. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. God bless you, God my bless friend. You. It's yeah. really wonderful to have you with us. Such an honor. And it's thank good you. to have you with us today. Um, Please join us again next week at the same time um, on PUSH, Pray Until Saturation Happens. We're part of Colorado Praise. Colorado Praise is a 24-7 canopy of prayer over this state. We're part of of the America Praise, Mm -hmm. 40,000 churches across the United States. Uh, And we ask you to join us and to pray. Go to copraise, P-R-A-Y-S dot org and join us in prayer each day. Thank you for joining us. Pray Until Saturation Happens is sponsored by Rocky Mountain CTN in conjunction with Colorado Praise. Learn about the various ways that you or your church can get involved by connecting with us on Facebook or at copraise.org.